Butler. Ooh. It should be a fun one from downtown Hartford. Butler, part of that last four in group. They go for their third ranked win of the season, and it doesn't get better than taking down number one. We take you now out to Hartford as we join Jason Benetti and Bill Raftery with the call. Rob, thank you very much. Butler has put up massive point totals in their recent four-game win streak, but uh, UConn hasn't lost since five days before Christmas. They've won 10 in a row, and they certainly are aren't dogs here today against Butler, who had them at halftime in the first meeting. Jason Benetti, Bill Raftery, you look like you have something to say to me. I do. Connecticut is in the highbrow neighborhood, something you can relate to. Oh, thank you so much. They are the elite, and conversely, Let's see the reaction. Now, you mentioned Butler's ability to score 87 points in the last four games. They don't turn it over, and they make free throws. They've got to be solid from the beginning. You said it earlier today at shoot-around. Butler Creighton on Friday looked like an NBA game in it, terms of shot making. But they rang the bell consistently. Nothing about UConn. It's overlooked how tenacious they are on the defensive end of the court. So all those isos that that likes to run, are going to have to have their impact with the powerful wings on this club. Starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. And part of that defense, Donovan Klingen just provides ridiculous metrics when he is on the floor defensively. And look, they've played without him. They've played without Stefan Castle. Alex Caravan is back today after missing the game at St. John's on Saturday. So it's scary. They won 10 in a row. And they're at full strength now. And, and, and to uh, talk about Donovan, his impact is not necessarily blocking the shots or intimidating. They stop the floater and make you release it because of his presence. Chris Daly's got his kids. The mantra, defensive rebounding, they've added some sophisticated offensive ability. Bad mod up. Here at Butler has his best team. They are 15 and seven, as Rob mentioned, last four in, according to Mike DeCorsi, and this place is live tonight, 15,000 plus downtown. They love their Huskies in this town. That's really a nice job, a lot of respectability to this Butler team. Ryan O'Connell throws it up, and here we go. And right away, Butler goes. Jason Benetti, a little, little 